Um, I think you have a little something on your face. You're watching Top Flight Family. We're the Sanyobi family from New York City. And last year, we visited 21 resorts in 2021. Now that major cities around the world have reopened, this year, we're visiting 22 cities in 2022. This is city number 12. When life shows an open road, you know you should arrive. Forget what you've been told. Arrive this open road. Wow. We stayed at Four Seasons Hotel New Orleans. This elegant hotel is located right at the foot of Canal Street on the edge of the Mississippi. So our rooms had amazing views of the French Quarter. You may remember that we were in New Orleans not too long ago. In February of this year, we took a Disney cruise out of New Orleans and spent a day in the city after the cruise. This was right before Mardi Gras, so we even got to catch a parade. We went to Café du Monde in the French Quarter but we're disappointed to find that the beignets were just not as good as we remembered from our first trip to the city in 2019. All right, so the beignets are pretty good. Um, I do remember them being a little bit better last time we were here, honestly. Um, if you look way, way back on the channel, you'll find a vlog from our first trip to New Orleans. I think it was like 2018. Um, it was not a bad batch. They're just like, okay. So on this trip, we decided we would try all the top-rated beignet spots in New Orleans and see which one we think is best. Leave a comment and let us know what your favorite is. And if we missed a good beignet spot in New Orleans, be sure to let us know that too. Okay, so do you remember when we did our Disney cruise out of New Orleans, we met that amazing couple with the cool, cool pirate costume. Roll the clip. <laughs> Roll the clip. The most stylish pirate couple on the ship tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you guys look amazing, wow. So we are actually in New Orleans, obviously, and so they live here and we're gonna meet up and spend the day with them, have some lunch, something that's been on Sean's wish list, crawfish. Why is it Sean's wish list? It's all of our, all of our wish list and we're excited. Park and there is a Café du Monde here. The most famous location of Café du Monde is the one in the French Quarter and that one we've been to a couple of times. But this one is in City Park. It's much more chill, it's much more laid back, surrounded by nature. So if you want to try Café du Monde but have a little bit of a different vibe, maybe a shorter line, then this is a great location to try. and crunchy and fresh. Last time we had at the other location, 
just like it's waiting there for us. <laughs> yeah, it was. A, it didn't taste very fresh that time. Um, I think you have a little something. That's my lipstick. On your face. Um, you might want to grab a napkin. <laughs> Ella is wearing black today. Um, not the best choice. And look at, I have black hands. Huh? Well, I have black hands. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Brush it off when we get outside. You cleaned everything up. Where's the? Pa it doesn't even look like you had a single beignet. Good job. <laughs> so, as New Orleans locals, you all, I'm sure, have had many beignets. What do you think are the elements that makes a good beignet? Like, what makes the difference? Well, compared to the one in the French Quarter, these guys are not rushed. They mm. take their time and do it right, and it is fresh. Mm. You get it right out of the grease, on the plate with the sugar. And that makes it fresh, and it's, it's a big difference. Yeah, for sure. You agree? I agree. <laughs> Lots of powder. And always wear something dark. <laughs> <laughs> Adrian and Barry wanted to make sure that we tried the New Orleans institution that is Willie Mays, so we headed there next. Um, Willie Mays was established in the early 50s. It um, used to be a bar. Um, back in the day, she used to give her guests the chicken. And the guests would say, well, Willie Mays, why you don't sell the chicken? And she, after that, she branched off and opened a restaurant in the 1979. Oh. Um, her great granddaughter Carrie is running it now, and everyone needs to come out and try. Okay? <laughs> we couldn't eat too much here, though, because we had to save room for our dinner that night back at the Four Seasons. Alon Shia is one of the most successful chefs in New Orleans and we had an amazing dinner at his restaurant, Miss River. So one of the coolest things about staying at the Four Seasons here in New Orleans is that at the very top of the building, there is a brand new attraction called View Orleans. And it's the only 360 degree panoramic, um, I guess, lookout point. Uh, for the city and we're gonna head inside and see what it's all about. There's also a cool exhibit about the history of New Orleans um, so we're excited to check it out. I can't sleep I can't sleep I can't sleep I can't sleep Until the morning rise Maybe I can't Another attraction that was just steps from our hotel was Audubon Aquarium of the Americas. This aquarium is ranked as one of the top five in the country, so of course we had to see it for ourselves. I can't talk. No, I can't talk. I can't talk. I can't talk. So don't you call me up. Maybe I can't. All right, so our new location for beignets, this place is called Cafe Beignet. It's supposed to be really popular. It's supposed to be just as good as Cafe Du Monde, so we'll check and see how good that is.
Our friend Orielle Perkins and two of her beautiful daughters joined us for lunch. watched a jazz performance at Preservation Hall, which is a very sort of old school uh, performance space here in the French Quarter. And what's really cool is that there's no microphones at all. So the whole thing is acoustic. You know how like when you go to Jamaica, you know how reggae bands always have to play One Love? Yeah. I feel like the reggae bands, One Love is like, the Saints come marching in for they New Orleans jazz band. Yeah. <laughs> do they get tired of playing it? Or do they amazing. like it? If you're a musician in New Orleans, let us know. I'm curious. Do you I'm hate sure that it helps song? The tips, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's tourists. true. You, yeah. you, they want to hear that. You got to play it for us tourists, man. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was a great show. Highly recommend. We turned a corner and suddenly we came upon a second line wedding parade. By the way, our family is visiting 22 cities in 2022, and New Orleans is the 13th one we've visited so far. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on the next city we'll be visiting. We walked over to Jackson Square, where you can usually find some interesting street performers, and today was no exception. It feels good, but I'm stuck. Hold on. I need some help. JJ, get in front of me. I'm squeezing me so hard on the park. I don't want you to get pink on. We headed back to Four Seasons and had dinner at Chemin de la Mer, a French and Creole restaurant concept from New Orleans chef Donald Link. For a real treat, order the Cote de Boeuf, which is expertly carved tableside by your server. Sean had a very strong hey, uh, reaction. <laughs> hey, uh, hey fans, today we are at Morning Call and it's like Cafe Du Monde and Cafe Beignet, but like just as good. Let's go eat some beignets. Let's go! <laughs> Good quality beignet. Dave and Buster's time! Yeah. Arcade obsessed Ella. Of their 
pralines or pralines, however you choose to pronounce it. Apparently all of them are correct. But one thing that they're really known for and kind of specialize in are stuffed beignets. So you can get uh, beignets stuffed with sweet things like pralines, or you can also get them stuffed with savory fillings. So I believe they have crab, they have crawfish. So if you're interested in trying a savory beignet, this is the place to go. But today we are going to try the praline stuffed beignets because I hear that they're fantastic. It's like kind of caramelly, really nice. That's good. It tastes like a dessert. It's chewy but fluffy, not too doughy. Yeah, that's just, this is really good. I don't know if we should eat too many of these, but it's really good. So what's our final verdict on who makes the best beignet in New Orleans? Well, first of all, you really can't go wrong with any of these places. They're at the top of their game for a reason. But when it comes to our personal preference, I would say Café du Monde, when it's fresh, is number one, Morning Call is number two, and Café Beignet is number three. Loretta's is excellent, but since we tried their stuffed beignets, not the regular ones, it's not really a one-to-one -one comparison, so we would consider that one to be a bit of a wild card. Which is your favorite beignet in New Orleans? Leave a comment and let us know. Okay, that was city number 13 of the 22 cities we're visiting in 2022. If you'd like to check out city number 14, just click that video right there. If you haven't already, please subscribe and turn on notifications. And follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Top Flight Family. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.